Hi everyone, today I will show you how to put together a chest made by Twylum that I purchased on Amazon. I already put this one together and I have one more to go. I already opened the box and I organized all the hardware that it came with. Of course, I have my instructions ready and the tools that you will need is a hammer and a Phillips screwdriver. I also have a drill handy just to speed up the process, but you have to be very careful with it because it can damage the furniture very easily. Let's get started. Open the instruction booklet on the page that says number one. This is your first step. And lay the two big panels on a soft surface. Make sure you work in either on carpet or a piece of rug or maybe a blanket if you don't have a carpeted area because this is made of particle board therefore they're very soft and you can damage it very easily i have placed my two large panels per instructions labeled hk fk which you can find on the side of each of the panels on a soft surface and now we are ready to put in all the hardware. We are ready for step number two. We will install the drawer bars. You need five for each panel. And per instructions, you have to make sure that you place every single one of these bars with the arrow pointing out. Where the groove is, that's the back of our chest. And 
the other side is the front part so you have to make sure that the arrow points out towards the end you see the two holes for this and that's where each of these will go I will complete one side and then I will do the other side. The instruction will show that each bar has 17 holes and your second step is to put a screw in to the 15th hole. When you turn it over you can count and the 15th hole is right here so I will make sure that that's visible in the window and then place it where the hole is on the board and we're ready to screw it in you will need to use this little screw you may use a regular screw driver a phillips head or a drill the next step is to place a screw in hole number four you also need the same screw as we used before. Step number four, we need to use a screw in the 17th hole. This time we are using this screw. And that is our very last hole. And there is no pre-drilled hole for this so you just have to place the screw in the last step is to place a screw in hole number 10 I repeated the steps nine more times and now we are ready for the next step step number three we place the panel labeled LD on a flat surface and we'll get four screws and we will screw them in next step number four is to place the item labeled PC on the floor so it's PC and we will place two wood pieces in them Make sure that the side that has two holes is facing up and we will place them at the last hole on each end. Step four is completed. Step number five is to place the board on LD. The 
Next up is to screw the PC into LD. We're using the two longest screws that came in the package. Make sure you don't press too hard down and over screw because that could ruin your particle board. As you can see, if you screw in too far, it starts to separate the particle board. So if you press it hard, then this will crack and you will ruin your furniture. Step number six is to place all the hardware in all six label JC and one KB panels. The smaller box has KB and the longer box has all the JCs. I have all my boards laid out and I'm ready to put the hardware in. Make sure the arrow points out. You place every one of these in to each of the holes. Now we will place all the wood pieces into each panel. We are ready to do the next step, number seven. If you have a partner who can help you and hold the pieces, then you can lay everything out the same as it's shown on this picture. However, I am by myself and I will do it a little bit differently. I will put everything into one panel first and then attach them to the next panel. So I will start by the top piece, KB and JC. 
So KB is right here. I will grab that first. And place that in. And I'll take JC. Making sure that the white part is facing out. I will place actually let me see JC in here. This way you have a nice L shaped look. Then I will place the rest of the JCs. into each I'm trying to do this one handed so bear with me Once I'm done placing them in, I will get my screwdriver and screw each of them in. You see an arrow? You have to make sure that you turn it towards the arrow. The next step is to slide the back panels in.
making sure that the pre-drilled holes facing the back, I slide the boards in. Making sure that the body is in the groove as well. In and it's even. The next step is to put the top on. Give it a right tap. Make sure it's thin. We have to make sure that the back is in the groove all the way through. And now we have to secure the top. The next step is to flip over the chest and screw the back panels together. The next step is 12 and 13. We lay out all the parts for the drawer. They're actually very nicely put together in the box. You have one long board and you take each of the smaller boards next. Make sure you line them up exactly the same way as it is on the picture. So the groove, the groove, and the groove is facing out just like this. Then we will put the screws in. Next step is to place the plastic screws in on each side. Now we will take a long gray board. 
it has a groove. Our short panels also have a groove. So we want to make sure that the groove aligns with the groove. Place them together like this. So the holes align with the holes in here. And we put a plastic screw in. Repeat this on the other side. Making sure that the groove, again, aligns with the groove in here. Next step is to place the backboard in. We align the groove on each side and we just push it in. Make sure that the groove aligns with the back panel before we continue. And now we are ready to put it in. The groove goes in the back. And we place it in, a light tap. You want to make sure that the back panel actually aligns up that can prevent the top the front to go in perfectly you don't ever want to hit this with a hammer because that will ruin the finish you want to only use your hands when you do this and we're in everywhere and I'll be ready to screw and secure it we will repeat these steps four more times after all the drawers are completed, we are ready for our next step, which is to place these little triangular holders in. I like to unscrew them a little bit because this flat part needs to go into the groove and it's much easier to do it that way. We will do this for every drawer. 
Now we are ready to put the drawers in. We simply align the groove with the metal bars on each side. And put the drawer in. Then when you slide it back out, the metal bar is in its place. You have a screw to screw in on each end. You have to make sure that you're aligned with the hole inside the drawer. You have one on each end. You can see that the screw came through, so you're good to go. And you repeat these steps on each of the drawers. And now our chest is completed. If you would like to secure it to the wall, you can do that with this. Instructions are pretty simple. For me, it's not necessary. And I love the way it looks. Thank you for watching.